Hey guys, this week we are going to be making little design creatures out of toilet paper or paper towel tubes. So I've got a paper towel tube here um, and you might need an adult to help you with this first step, but you're going to want to cut it into a few pieces. It can be straight across, it can be wavy, it can be diagonal the way I did it, um, but however you choose to do so, and again, it's fine if you need a grown-up to help you, in fact, that's probably a good idea, cut your tube into um, a couple to a few pieces, however many you can fit, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it in just a second. All right, once you have your pieces cut, you're going to take um, something that makes really strong marks, like a Sharpie or some other kind of marker or pen, and you're going to start drawing little creatures that will fit into these pieces. So I made this really furry guy with some slanted ears, and he's got a pig snout and some kind of pointy teeth, but he's nice. He's smiling and some big expressive eyes. I want him to be wearing a little like paper crown. Um, and now I'm gonna add some more textures in his fur and to show where his legs are. And then after that, I'm gonna trim around the edges that I've drawn to give him more of a defined shape. All right, the other thing that we're gonna need to do before we continue to cut, which I wanted to mention, is you're gonna also wanna draw some sort of um, patterning around the base, um, of your tube around your little creature. So I'll show you what I mean. I think I'm gonna draw some tall grass to make it look like he's hanging out outside. All right, my next step is to cut out the shape. So I've started to around his face and his crown and sort of in the grass. I'll show you what things look like when I'm all finished. All right, guys, here's my little finished monster. Oops, it's falling over. So I just wanna make a note here that I made a lot of kind of complicated spiky shapes in mine. Um, the more small shapes that you make, the more difficult it will be to cut out. So keep that in mind as you're designing yours. Don't be afraid to ask for help from a grown-up because it can be a little bit tricky cutting things out on a round tube. Um, but again, you do not have to make yours as pointy as mine. You can make much bigger, rounder shapes. Um, it's whatever you want to do. So here's my little finished creature. And um, make two or three if you want to. Or if you need to um, start over on your extra pieces, that's okay too. So um, make a little creature out of your toilet paper or paper towel tube. Um, give him some really cool features and details. Cut out the extra space. Um, and show me what you've created. Thanks guys. Hello again. I wanted to give one more example that's a little bit um, less pointy and this one was much easier to cut out just um, to give you guys another option or example. You don't have to do yours like mine um, necessarily at all but this one is more round and um, I kept the back of it just like a really gentle like diagonal and you can make yours straight across if you want to so you don't even have to have yours at a diagonal like mine and if it makes it easier you can cut a slit um down the middle um on the back of your tube as well so if that helps you cut um as opposed to leaving it attached that's fine because it will still stand up just like the other one will just fine so there they are little friends they can move around and talk to each other Yay. Okay, so show me what you make. Um, again, I just wanted to give uh, a little bit simpler example with a little modification back there. So um, go ahead and show me your creations. All right, thanks guys. 